Marie's asking why mold gave her a gluten intolerance and does it cause, does mold cause delayed walking in babies? Um, mold can absolutely stunt growth, um, not just physically, but um, milestone wise in kids, 100%. Uh, so it absolutely can. But let's jump back to your gluten intolerance. Mold wrecks the gut. Mold and mycotoxins wreck the gut. Mycotoxins attack the gut and immune system in so many ways. Creates, takes your tight junctions of your uh, small intestine, pulls them apart, makes it leaky. And then your food proteins go through the, through your leaky intestine into circulation. The body sees those proteins and freaks out and says, these aren't supposed to be here and creates antibodies against them because they're not supposed to be there. And then you start getting food sensitivities, food allergies, autoimmunity. Uh, and gluten is one of those big ones that go down first. Okay. Anyone that's chronic, it doesn't even have to be mold. It can just be Lyme, like Lyme and co-infections erect the gut. When the body gets burdened, when the gut gets wrecked, when the body needs less stress on it, gluten is always one of the first things to go. Gluten, you also have the issue of molecular mimicry with gluten and the thyroid. That's why people that have Hashimoto's have to avoid gluten because when the body starts making antibodies against gluten saying, hey, I don't like this, it can actually attack the thyroid and be and make that problem worse. So, uh, but the question is, can it become a non-issue? It can. If you heal your body, remove the stress, remove the inflammation, heal the gut, can you tolerate gluten later? You very possibly could. But when you're at your worst, when you're very inflamed, when your gut is wrecked, gluten is one of those big ones that go. The big things that go uh, that the body starts reacting negatively to are gluten, uh, dairy, processed sugar, corn, and you start getting it into, into like your soy and all those different things that get uh, out of fish because it can be high histamine. Um, you start to get into, you know, secondary ones, but those are the big ones. And it's absolutely common to be able to have a big problem with gluten. And when we run the gut zoomer, which is the most advanced stool test on the market, it measures your anti -gliadin. We get to see numbers. Is your body building antibodies against gluten because that's just raising your inflammation and almost everybody has that and if they don't have it then i say hey are you eating gluten free and they go yeah because they already know this okay they know that gluten uh, becomes a big problem so they keep it out anyway hope that helps marie do you have questions about mold in your home or body book a consultation with matt aka the mold man to guide your home and body to the next level of healing 